Well, hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard Jay, and today we are looking at the Pretty Bird Woman Chorus and Vibrato by Native Audio. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a little bit of a stunner on the board today. This is the Native Audio Pretty Bird Woman Chorus and Vibrato. And I just love the way uh, they do the artwork on these pedals. So simple, yet so to the point, really gorgeous stuff. It is a chorus and vibrato pedal. It has four different presets you can program on it, as well as a really, really handy hold function. And in fact, I've never really used a hold function on a vibrato pedal before, but once I did, I can't imagine using a vibrato pedal without a hold function. So we'll dig into that a little bit more. So what I'm going to do today is I'll go through the different modes and everything on this pedal, as well as use my Fender Telecaster with my J-Mod signature pickups and String Joy strings. I'm gonna plug it into a Tone King Imperial amplifier and power it with a Mission Engineering 529i. Lot of really cool sounds in this pedal. Let's go hear them. <laughs> Well, we're all wired up and ready to go, starting ourselves off in the chorus mode. Two knobs to worry about, depth and rate, speed. Two simple knobs, a lot of sounds in them, uh, and finally an on button. So let's start off simple, get crazy from there. This is the guitar and the amp on its own. <laughs> And this is the Pretty Bird Woman. Mm-hmm. 
Now, when it comes to gains and overdrives pedals like that, uh, there's a couple things you can do when you're mixing it with the Pretty Bird Woman. Now, uh, if you want to get a really 80s fusion kind of sound or like a very chorus heavy sound, put the drive pedal in front of it and you can really get that chorus really screaming at you. <laughs> Now, if you go the other way and put the distortion pedal after this pedal, you're gonna hear that it kind of blends things in a different kind of way. It's more distortion in front with a little of that modulation creating a whirly sound behind it. Check this out. <laughs> As you can see, we've actually haven't even gotten to the vibrato section yet, but there's already a lot of really cool sounds we can get out of this thing. So there's actually on board four different presets that you could switch between. Uh, they could be either a combination of chorus or vibrato, and it's really simple to use. You pretty much just tweak in your sound, hold on to this button, pick your preset, hold on to it again, and you pretty much saved your preset. <laughs> Now let's dig into that vibrato section now that we've heard that vibrato going on over here. Uh, we go into vibrato mode by holding onto this button and switching it over here. You see when it's lit up in the three and the four, that means vibrato mode. When it's over here, it's chorus. So let's go into vibrato mode. And here, all a vibrato is, is it's chorus without your clean sound blended in with it. So it's this really seasicky kind of sound. <laughs>
Last but not least, we're gonna look at the hold function on this pedal, which I find very, very useful, especially when we're in the vibrato setting. Uh, you might notice I switched guitars because my other guitar had a vibrato bar on it, a Bigsby. And I like to use it when I'm holding a chord just to give it a little bit of a warble, but this one doesn't have it. And that's where this function really comes in handy. Uh, I could turn on the pedal and turn it off by pressing it, or I could hold onto it to turn it on. And when I release it, it turns off. And that way, I can actually use it just like I would a vibrato arm. If I hold a note, it'll just shimmer it up. And then when I release it, I can play my other notes without it sounding out of tune. Really cool stuff. Check this out. That is The Pretty Bird Woman by Native Audio. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on The Pretty Bird Woman Chorus and Vibrato, please check it out on Patreon. I do all my reviews on Patreon, sponsored by the Patreon supporters, and all my demos, tutorials, pretty much all the other style videos I make. It's right here on YouTube. My question for the subscribers is, is you got four presets of chorus and vibrato. What would be the four sounds that you would use when you're programming this thing? That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.